Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and today we're printing Groot. You ready? Go. Ah, uh, welcome back. Uh, Groot is on the menu today, not for eating, but for printing. And well, let's let's start off with this one. This is the Groot that I turned into a Red Bull koozie, and uh, I used Tinkercad for this. This is great. I put out a video on it. Search my channel. You'll find it. Next up is this baby Groot, and this one is found on my mini factory, and I have it printed in a couple different sizes. Two are in a wood fill from Hatchbox, and the other one is in the Raise 3D Yellow PLA. We'll talk about this one next, but first let me show you the last Groot we're gonna talk about. This is the last Groot we're gonna talk about, and just look at him. He's so adorable. Look, look at his, ah! First things first, let's make sure my previous Groot still works. I've got sugar-free Red Bull here. I am Groot. Let's first talk about this Groot here. And this little baby Groot is available from my mini factory. And of course the link will be down in the description. But this Groot is really interesting for a few different reasons. Let's start with the yellow one. The yellow one was printed on my Raise 3D N2 Plus using the Raise 3D yellow PLA. And I used Idea Maker to slice it up, which is the Raise 3D slicer. And it did a great, great job. This is a good Groot. It's, it looks wonderful. Why is this, why does this matter though? <laughs> because of this. Oh dear Lord, what happened? This Groot was sliced using Simplify 3D and the G code was copied to an a uh, USB stick, which I then put in the Raise 3D N2 Plus and, and printed out using the Hatchbox wood fill PLA. But it looks, it looks terrible. What's this hole right here in this, this blobby part? And it all has to do with Simplify 3D, this model not being, as Angus puts it, properly baked, and the combination of having multiple little models within the STL file. So looking at this right here, you can see some crazy spaces between the eyes and the eyelids. And then there's this big gappy hole in the bottom. And then there's, there's parts of it that just break off. What's going on? All of these pieces of this Groot are, are little miniature models. So they, they're, and they're all combined within one STL file. When Simplify 3D sees that and you hit print, it doesn't combine the objects as you want them to. And so you're, you end up with this, this pile of objects being added and subtracted to, and it, it doesn't fill things in right, and where two objects intersect, it leaves that as a void, or a, you know, a blank space. And I don't, here's the proper way to put it, I don't know the exact proper technical term to describe what's going on in this instance, but there is a fix. Most people sent this Groot to a model repair facility uh, there are various ones online that you can search for. What I did though is used Simplify 3D's separate connected meshes functionality. And by that, I, I click up here and I click separate connected meshes. It thinks for a little bit. Once it's done thinking, it populates all of these individual models on the side. You can turn them on and off and see which one corresponds with with what other ones are going there. But what's interesting, once you have them all separated out and you hit prepare to print, Simplify 3D does the right object math and puts them all together properly. And using that method, that's how I produce this little Groot right here. Everything looks good. It's got a bottom, it's got infill, it looks great. Plus what's really interesting about this is using that method, you can pick and choose what pieces are left over to print with this Groot, meaning the little ball that's under the hand, you can kind of see here, there's this supporting ball or supporting geometry under the hand that supports the fingers. I didn't want that in this Groot, and you can see that it's bare right there. So in Simplify 3D, all I had to do was find out which of those elements was this supporting geometry and delete it. That's it. Simplify 3D new and printing to put support material under here. And it put support material everywhere it needed to, obviously, but then it produced this wonderful little Groot. And this one is gonna go to my friend Esther. Esther, you're welcome. Red Bull break. Mmm. I am Groot. And
And finally, let's talk about this baby Groot right here. The detail on this baby Groot is nothing short of just awesome, crazy amazing. It's printed in two parts. One is the body, one is the head. This specific baby Groot right here was printed at 125% scale on my Raze 3D N2 Plus using the Hatchbox wood fill. Hatchbox, by the way, you make a fantastic wood fill filament. If you ever find a spare roll laying around that you don't need, feel free to send it my way. When printed in two parts, the, the body prints really well and you can, you can see the, the detail is just gorgeous. And then the head itself prints with this attached brim that's built in that you then break off very easily. And then it's got a slot in the back, it's got a groove right there, and then you line them up and that is how it sits. Of course, scaling always increases the size of the tolerance, so he does do a little bit of a, an exorcist there and can look around back. But what's really interesting about this baby Groot is it was community powered. A gentleman by the English pronunciation of Biamba, I hope I got that right, started modeling this and showing us in the 3D printing group on Facebook that I'm a part of how his progress was going. And everybody, everybody thought this was an amazing model, was commenting along the way. It got an insane number of likes and comments on the thread. In fact, Jeff said this is going to become the new Benchy, which is partially true because everybody was printing this baby Groot. The link, of course, to download this one will be down in the description as well. What's amazing about this Groot is it can be printed without any supports whatsoever. You do have to print it twice because there's the head and the body and you can position it like that on a build plate to print it out. The detail is gorgeous. The, the legs are like tree trunks and you can see the rings. <laughs> like, like count the rings to count the years. Oh, it's phenomenal here. That's the top of the head and it too, it looks great. I, I've got no complaints about this model or this print whatsoever. And I really hope you get the chance to print this one. This is, it's just gorgeous. I am Groot. Well, there we go. I've showed you two baby Groots and one older Groot that happens to hold a Red Bull. This has been a very Groot happy episode. I'm very happy about that. And don't forget this baby Groot right here is also a planter. And so Guardians of the Galaxy 2 will be coming this year. But if you want to personalize it, you can now have your own garden of the galaxy. Mm. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I love showcasing cool models like this and kind of giving it my own flair. So if you want to print these, the links, of course, to download them are going to be down in the description as always. Uh, you know what? Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if this was awesome. Thanks again to my patrons who financially support me at patreon.com. That's wonderful. If you'd like to do the same, there's a link around here somewhere. Don't forget to hug each other more often. As always, I am Groot.